Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is really late at night and I'm using my microphone and I'm using a different light. So I'm hoping that this light is better than the last light and I hope that the volume is better for you as well. Um, I wanted to share with you this next um, Barwa haul I got on Amazon. Here's the bag. Um, sorry. So I got this on Amazon and it was $6.99. And it was originally, I believe, almost $20. So I really just could not pass that up. And I also got this Barbie Extra. Um, what is it? A machine dispenser or whatever. And I wasn't actually going to get it, but it went down to 1987. So I just had to get it then because I'm a huge fan of anything and everything Barbie Extra. And I regret not buying those two exclusive Barbie Extra dolls, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I have not looked at anything inside of these bags yet. So I'm going to do that with you. And then I have my models. Who are going to be modeling the clothes afterwards already picked out. So let's see what's inside. I'm actually quite excited for these accessories. Sorry, they have that little tab that you have to open up. Well, I mean, it could be better, it could be worse. Not oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I think, oh, that's so... Alright, so it's like they're compact, but there's nothing inside. So no makeup, just an empty contact. I thought it was supposed to be makeup, but hmm, maybe I'll leave some promo pictures like somewhere here so you can see what I'm talking about. Well, that's really cute. It's like a perfume bottle. Oh, this light seems to be bright too. Uh, if I hold it back here, it looks okay. And this is a different light. It's a more softer light, so I'm hoping it works better. Here's another perfume bottle. It's pink. And this, they all have... Oh, this one had... A golden top and the other one had like a silver top and then this is pretty cute it's a little purse the translucent baby blue with a silver chain it's all very hard though and then a little silver bow on top or here and then the same coloring for this perfume bottle and just a few other things okay so it came with this another little purse the same color and a pink or, or a heart with a silver heart instead of a bow and then a shorter silver strap nothing on the back and then this is really cute it's just hold on. Mm -hmm. 
find a, like a little yellow cream or lotion or something. And then I believe this is supposed to be a lipstick, but and it's silver, but it doesn't open or anything. And then a little tiny perfume or something. And this is yellow with a silver top. And you can see like the glue. It's kind of cute. And if I go, oh, that's better. A bit. Oops. And that's it for the, um, those accessories. Oh yeah, and then it came with a ton of shoes, just like the last one. I'm probably not gonna take them out and show you each shoe one by one. Maybe I'll just spread them out and then show you like that. Here comes the exciting part, the clothing. Okay. I really hope I got the ones I wanted. It looks like I did. Mm -hmm. It's empty now. Yep. So it was all one piece. I just was pink dress with it's just so pretty and it's got layered bottom with a longer back i forgot what that's called oh the sparkles are coming off though and it's got like a little hole in the front to see like your neck um or your chest i should say and like some tool ribbon here and uh i don't know a knot a knot that kind of looks like a flower so you can see that right here and then some little beads here it's really pretty and yeah and a velcro of course it's the first outfit Okay, um, I think that this goes with that, but I can't remember. I'll have to double check. Kind of like a pink tweed style um, jacket. It's cute. And then... Or no, I think that goes with this outfit, actually. I have no idea what this is, but it's a cute little white top with some pink writing on it. I don't know what that says, though. I think it's just a plain white top. And then that outfit came with some jeans, and they are fairly well sewn. I'm excited to see what they look like. Oh, and this actually has some tinsel sewn into it, so it makes it a little bit sparklier. And I think that this is a hat. Some really cheap leather type material. Can't see that lasting too long. Can you hear that? Yeah, crunchy. And then, well, that's cute. This was one of the other outfits that I was kind of excited for. And these, sorry, it's all scrunched up. 
that is like a high um a short shorts got some sewn on detail and then velcro in the back and then a little pink shirt with white details and velcro in the back and some kind of puffy sleeves I guess we'll see what it looks like better on when we have it on the doll and then it also came with this super cute little hat but it has velcro inside I don't know about that and so what are those little hats called ah, why am i blanking probably because it's one in the morning um oh goodness i just i can't think but you know what i'm talking about those little hats that you wear like that that's so cute and it's like a velvety material. And this one also looked really good. And the material is really nice. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a light green. Light green blue. Mm-hmm. Hard to tell in this lighting, but and then it's got glued on green buttons and it has a little oh and this one also has a little hole in where the chest and then a tied on like scarf type thing in the front. And then it comes whoops. Her super cute little skirt and this material is really soft it's not my hands are so dry though but it's really really soft and I really love the color it's really cute and then lastly it came with this gown it's very New Year's-ish or something like that. Almost like a costume. This could be like a holiday Barbie type dress almost. I don't know what is blue and gold. But, but it is really pretty. <laughs> and it's actually quite... It's not that really cheap material, and it's actually kind of nice and soft satiny material. And the top is a really light, soft tool, um, and it goes all the way around. And it has gold stars all the way around. It's really pretty. Can't wait to see it on a doll. So those are all the outfits, and... Um, how many here? There's going to be, these are my models. There's one, two, three, four. I might need one more. But I'm going to be using this Barbie. She came in the um, medical clinic casting playset. And I think those, those dolls are a little bit underrated. So she is so beautiful. And her screening, there's no pixelation. And she's not shiny. And she's just a gorgeous doll. And she has a separate dress from her doctor jacket. So, but I'm not here to review her. I just wanted to show her to you. She's super cute. And then, of course, my looks Lena doll from wave number one. And I believe she is the number one doll. Um, yeah. She's wearing the Barbie at Style Fashion Pack Spring Chic or something like that. 
I love this. I took the shoes off though because they kept falling off. So, yeah. And then, of course, I'm using my Karate Millie, who just tried on some other fashions, and I really love this dress. Still can't believe that these were on a budget at all. They're really quite well made. And then I got this prosthetic fashionista. She is just gorgeous. I don't remember the number she is. But, I mean, her screen is really good. There's no pixelation. Bright red lips and beautiful brown hair with earrings and a cute little updo. So, yeah, those are my four dolls that I'm going to be using. And one of them might just have to dress up twice. So, I'm going to get them all in their outfits and come back and show you. And, yeah, I'm so excited. Alright, so I got them all dressed in their new super cute outfits. <clears throat> and I have to say, for $7, <clears throat> pardon me, and five outfits, I am super, super impressed and pleased with how they all look. Now I'm going to show you in order of my least favorite to my top most favorite. Now I do like them all, so I just have, you know, ones that I don't like as much, but and you'll see why. So coming in at fifth place. Is the blue gown now the model herself is beautiful and the dress does look very beautiful and it's flowy but I'm just gonna say I'm not a gown gal um, I've never worn one in my entire life and um, although I have, I have all my holiday parties out still from Christmas so, um, but I just, I don't know, it's still very pretty, but one of the reasons why she's fifth is because, like, the back is really closed, and this is an original, um, new Barbie body, right? So, I don't know, I think they screwed up the bottom. I'm gonna have to try it on maybe an older Barbie, like a 90s Barbie. We're early 2000s Barbie and see if it will close because apparently these dolls have wider hips and whatnot. But um, other than that, I mean, obviously, these fashions that are not Mattel have you know the stitching isn't as good, there's loose threads all everywhere, and the um, the velcro is so pretty poorly but it's not the worst and I can always um, go over it a couple times with my own sewing machine um but yeah I do really like this gown and I definitely can use it for something and I do love the beautiful golden color stars I'm just not a gown person I just I mean, I've never had to, I've never gone anywhere where I've had to wear one, so, but we're in Barbie land, not in real life, so, yeah, I just think she looks gorgeous in it, too, like, she's beautiful, so, yeah, that's fifth place, I still think she looks, oh, the shoes, I almost forgot, um, in this pack, it actually came with flat shoes, and that does not happen very often. They must have um, listened to all the complaints from reviews complaining that all the new Barbies have flat feet. So they included a whole package of flat shoes. So I'm using a blue sneaker for her to go with her blue gown, which is something girls do, right? Because you can't see the shoes. So yeah, that's 
the first Barbie in fifth place that I'm showing you for her here now. And coming in fourth place. Now, I love this outfit, but it looked better in the promo pictures. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You all can tell me what you think. This is, I mean, it does look really cute when I show you in. Now, wait, look at the little hat. Oops, let's just fix that frame. It looks super cute on her. Like, she can pull anything off, right? But, I don't know, I feel now that it looks too nursey, doctory color. And, um, it just doesn't fit that great. And it won't fit on a curvy. It's far too tight. Like, but the top is loose, but the bottom is super tight. Um, so I don't know. Again, maybe I'll try on an older Barbie with a bigger bust. I don't know, you know? But overall, I still really like this look. And I think she holds it off really well. And, um, yeah, again, there is some, like, loose threads on here. And and the Velcro wasn't sewn that great. Um, to go with this, I chose some high pumps that are like a turquoise. They were the closest that I could go with this dress. Um, yeah. Are you up close? There we go. So when I do up close, that's the color that this outfit is. Mostly. So yeah, that's number four. This is the outfit in the fourth place. And to be honest, I think they should have left these beads off. I mean, in theory, it would look okay. But if maybe they were gold or something else, rather than bright neon green, I think it would have looked just kind of looks tacky to me. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. So that's number four. Shouldn't put her there. Coming in at number three. Now the top three were really difficult to choose. <laughs> and I did pick a new model. Because I didn't want to have to redress anyone. And um... Yeah, these pants are, I tried her on these pants on a regular Barbie, and they're so, so loose. And then I tried them on a curvy, and they wouldn't fit. So I went with an older Barbie, and they fit fairly well, except, like, obviously her waist is super tiny. But I really, really, really like this outfit. I think it's super cute. It's like a shorter pant leg. And I chose these um, pink pumps that were stilettos. These also came with the last um, Barla outfits that I got. And I'm pretty sure I showed that on the here. Um, yeah. What was that like? There we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, and here is the outfit. I really like this little shirt. It's a crop top. And again, I still can't tell what it says. In the tweed jacket. I mean, I think this outfit is really nice on its own too. Which I'll show you in a second. But I do like the tweed jacket. I think I can use it for lots of other outfits. And, um, yeah, let's just show you what it looks like. And I chose this Barbie, too, because she only came with, like, the bright pink earrings and the ring that matched this writing on her shirt. So, again, the Velcro is, this shirt is really tight because she's got bigger boobs. You can see the back. Oops. 
Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah. And she looks really cute in this outfit. Oh. So, here's number three. And number two, this was like the hardest decision that I had to make. But I'm going to do this outfit number two. And it is super duper cute. I love this outfit um, so, so much. And the little hat. This outfit fits perfectly on a regular Barbie. Pretty perfectly. I mean, the pants are super tight. And it's just that the Velcro is not sewn very well. But these shorts are so freaking adorable. And the top is so adorable. I would totally wear this if they made it in my size. And I really like the hat. It's so cute. And then, again, they had some bright pink, fuchsia pink flat shoes. So I chose those to go with the outfit. And this is number two. I have nothing bad to say about this outfit. Oh, except like the glue that they used to glue these things on seeped through so it was stuck to the back of the shirt so I had to use like my little knife and to kind of scrape it apart try not to ruin the shirt but um yeah it looks really good I mean obviously it's a little bit cheaply made but for a dollar just over a dollar per outfit I am not going to complain this is so adorable I love this outfit. <laughs> so cute. And coming in at number one. I better hurry this up. Someone's about to die. A sassy Leah and Millie in this gorgeous pink sparkly just beautiful cute outfit like I just love it I have nothing bad to say about it now it's your turn to tell me which one is your favorite outfit and yeah there's the little flower there and the beads and you can see her the little hole that they made there I really like this outfit. She just looks so good in it. What the only thing that would might make this outfit look better are some stockings. That's gonna be another video because I have another um order from Teeny where I ordered a bunch of stockings. So that's gonna be another video. So stay tuned for that one. And for her, I use these really cute fuchsia pink pumps, rosettes, and yeah, I love this look, I just love this dress, and this was the whole reason why I bought this pack, but I do really like them all, and I'm just so happy I would have paid the seven dollars just for this outfit, never mind, but um, and all the accessories, I think this was a total 10 out of 10 win for all these really cute clothes and accessories and shoes. Let me know what you thought of all the outfits in the comments below. Let me know what one was your favorite. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all are having a fabulous day, night, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I love you and appreciate you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.